Now, I think we can all agree that we've all messed up at work at some point, right? Maybe we sent an email to the wrong person, we accidentally deleted an important file, and we think it's the end of our world and we're going to get fired for it. Well, this will make you feel a lot better because in 2012, a Wall Street powerhouse called Knight Capital pretty much said, hold my beer and proceed to lose $440 million in just 45 minutes. That's right, you didn't hear me wrong. While you're worrying about that typo in your slideshow that really doesn't matter, these folks were hemorrhaging roughly $10 million per minute. This was all thanks to a computer bug that turned their trading algorithm into a financial version of Pac-Man chomping through millions of dollars faster than you can say, damn, someone's getting fired for this. At this time, Knight Capital was Wall Street's golden child though. They handled about 17% of all the New York Stock Exchange trades. They were basically like the Amazon Prime of stock trading, except instead of delivering packages, they delivered straight profits. Until they didn't. But let's backtrack. I mentioned this was a software bug. So what caused this mayhem? Well, see, back in 2011, the New York Stock Exchange created this thing called the Retail Liquidity Program, or RLP. Now, that's a bunch of financial jargon to me, but let me break it down. RLP was designed to help regular investors like you and I get slightly better deals on stock trades. It worked by letting special market players like Knight Capital to offer discounted prices just for small individual trades. Knight Capital was the market player who offered better prices to us peasants, ensuring we get smaller price improvements. Now, the best part of this whole RLP jargon is even the CEO of the New York Stock Exchange parent company hated RLP and criticized it. But regardless, it was approved, and that means the Knight engineering team had a month to tweak their code to identify retail orders, calculate improved pricing, and ensure their quotes met the RLP's rules. For this, Knight used something called SMARS. Now, that sounds like a disease, but SMARS could execute thousands of orders per second and could compare prices like that. Now, this portion is important, so pay attention. SMARS was more or less a smart router which determined where to send orders, such as the New York Stock Exchange, the NASDAQ, or other trading venues, to get the best prices. It also knew how to break large orders into smaller ones to prioritize cost savings. But with the RLP change, they had to update and modify some stuff, which included reactivation of some old clunky code. This old code was called PowerPeg. Hey, another shitty name. And it was mainly intended for testing purposes and had been left dormant in night systems. As part of the update, the system didn't properly flag or block PowerPeg's behavior. As a result, when SMARS started handling live orders, it began rapidly and erroneously placing orders at multiple exchanges. In just 45 minutes, SMARS flooded the market with erroneous buy and sell orders for over 150 stocks. This created massive price swings and left Knight's Holdings unwanted positions to be worth billions of dollars, which they had to eventually sell off at a huge loss resulting in $440 million. So yeah, in 45 minutes, they lost $440 million. That's $163,000 per second. You could buy a Lamborghini every minute with that money. So what pearls of wisdom can we harvest from this oyster of failure by night? Well, the first is test your damn code and have processes around it. They had one engineer and didn't even have another engineer review it. Second, make sure you have a solid alerting system in place. I feel like nowadays that's like a no-brainer but you would think. And then maybe, just maybe, have an emergency stop button because sometimes your algorithm wakes up and chooses violence. I choose violence. But oh yeah, you're probably wondering if Knight Capital survived this expensive oopsie. Of course they did, come on now. Thanks to a $400 million rescue package from investors, they were able to come back and still be a profitable company. And that, folks, is how you turn Wall Street into Fall Street in under an hour. Remember, in the game of stocks and servers, you either win or you become a cautionary tale in a YouTube video. So don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free, unlike Night Capital's mistakes.